All right, so in this video, we will be uh, creating a, US, a bootable USB drive in order to load the Ubuntu Mate operating system onto a new computer. And we will be using the command line in order to do that. So I'm inserting my USB drive into the computer now. And we can see that it has Zubuntu 16.10. Now we want to change what operating system will be live loaded from that USB when we when we insert it into a new computer. So if I look here, I can see that I have the Ubuntu Mate 16.04 ISO file in my downloads folder. And what I will do is I will use sudo dd, which stands for disk dump, bs equals to 4m. That's how many bytes it will try to read at a time in order to copy. My input file will be the uh, ISO file that I'm interested. So I'm already in my downloads file, so I would just put the path here. And if, it, if we were not in the downloads file, we would just type the complete path here. Then the output file, uh, well, we need to know what that is. So what I'm going to do is just to be positive, I know in this case that it's slash dev slash sdb, but if you're not sure, it never hurts to use the lsblk command and be sure that you are writing to the correct thing. For instance, if we tried to do the output file as SDA, we would just overwrite our hard drive, which would be a suboptimal outcome to this experiment. So I'll do sudo dd input uh, bs equals to 4m. The input file is Ubuntu mate. The output file is equal to dev slash sdb so that's slash dev slash sdb and the final thing that i'll do is type ampersand ampersand sync and what ampersand ampersand sync means is that uh, it's a way to execute the sync command conditionally if the first command sudo dd executes correctly the next thing we'll do is sync and what sync does is it just ensures that copying the copy operation occurs correctly and it has to do with the fact that copying from the hard drive onto a U USB flash drive uh, have different speeds and it ensures that the data is preserved correctly so uh, I'm going to click enter now this will take some time. Well, we can see the first command actually executed very quickly, and the slower one is sync. Uh, and we just have to wait. And when that finishes, if it completes with no errors, you will have a bootable USB drive. So thanks for watching.